St. James as they made the trip over to Lake City to host the Panthers. Kind of a, a grouping you haven't seen in quite some time. I think, what, 2017 was the last time these two teams faced off. Let's show you the pretty pictures here. Shocks and the Panthers. Pretty great. Those unis, though, right? I love their uniforms. Fresh this year. Yep. All right, starting things off here with Connor Schwalm. Throws the ball to Ben Sant, and Sant, he's in the end zone there, no doubt about that. Sant's having a fantastic season. Big time. Now, Panthers, they're trying to answer back. Burgess. He throws the ball to Dallas Davis, and Davis catches it in the end zone as well. We're trading off some big bombs here early on with Lake City and St. James teed up at seven apiece for Schwalm. Also, well, actually, this run play here as they break it out, St. James does, and must Markey there. Faulkner, yeah. All the way to the end zone. Good player. I put St. James up 14-7, and this was a quick game for our highlights, and it was a really nice outcome, though. Actually, I want to say St. James took that. Correct me if I'm wrong, B-Dunn. They are. St. James did win that. That was my mistake on the scoreboard. St. James 20, Lake City 13, Sharks 3-1 and one on the season. Man, give, give that football team some credit. Some progress. Uh, one blemish on their record, and that was to Myrtle Beach last week. Panthers dropped to two and two. Hey, Panthers are playing a lot better at this point this season than they did the last year at this point. So both these teams trending upward. St. James on the road yet again for the, what, fifth consecutive week. They'll go to Ashley Ridge next week. As for Lake City, they'll look to bounce back as they go down to uh, the Steel City to take on G-10. Remember, they're still trying to get their field in order, right? Or is that they are, Yes, yeah. that's the issue right now. Just St. James is still trying to get their field corrected. Hopefully, this next week will be their last one on the road as they will uh, hopefully be back to host that first game on their new duds here in a couple of weeks. All right, one of the...